Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to War Thunder. Now, I wasn't actually planning on doing any video today, but Guardian have kind of forced me to talk about this topic because it's just such a massive change and I've got to get my opinion out there. Uh, there was a change blog uh, today with um, making a lot of changes to how top tier works in terms of what stock shells a lot of uh, tanks have, which is now every nation pretty much has a stock heat FS shell as the stock shell and they've actually added in and moved around the modifications for the APFS deer shells. This really is such an awful, 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 awful change after everybody was pretty much crying out saying that nations which had the stock heat FS should get the APFS deers. But Gaijin being Gaijin have made that a change in a completely opposite direction and they're giving everybody pretty much stock heat FS instead. You can probably see in the background footage right now just absolutely horrendous footage of me trying to get kills using stock heat FS with a variety of uh, different nations. Uh, this doesn't affect all nations. Britain, which didn't use a heat FS cell in their Challenger tanks, uh, still keep a stock APFS DS and just so does Sweden with uh, the STRVs. Uh, as well but pretty much every other nation now has a stock heat fs shell and it is absolutely just suffering trying to get kills with uh, the heat fs now for some nations it is actually an improvement uh, the clerk for example which had a stock heat fs shell originally now has an apfs deer shell with uh, just shy of 400 mils of penetration as a tier one modification which is not too bad but some other nations which had pretty good standard shock shells such as the Arietti which had a 481 millimeter uh, APFS DS shell now has a stock heat FS shell and you have to unlock that uh, APFS DS as a tier one modification and some of these cost like 25,000 research points and I know exactly why Gaijin have done this they've gone away they thought how can we squeeze an extra little bit of golden eagles and a little bit of money out of people and they've come up with this idea to that changing everything with their heat fs because they know that people are going to buy uh talismans though people are going to use a golden eagle ones to buy the modifications to get the tier one apfs deer shells it's just that little bit extra squeeze to get a little bit more money out of people i feel but we really need to as a community i think with this one really just give a massive fuck you to gaijin um, in terms of uh, the response to this because it's just such an awful awful change it just really is off-putting trying to play uh, top tier uh, tanks which already were suffering bad enough uh, when they were stuck in terms of not lacking thermals and their top shells but now it's just an extra layer on top of that in terms of the heat fs now which really especially like nations like i think america which up against uh, russia which have very good heat protection for the front and the sides it is definitely just very very hard to get kills with the heat fs not saying it's impossible but it is definitely definitely challenging uh, to get kills uh, with them i've had a quick look over on the forums and stoner has a given reply given a justification as why uh, these changes have been made according to his words we have made this change because it is now more fair in relation to all nations earlier some of them had the advantage that there was already an apfs ds after this change there will be an absence of lower performance shells that need to be researched we could not give all nations an equal default entry apfs ds shell because some of them simply did not have them in their arsenal for example the type 90 if necessary we will balance shell prices so according to gaijin they've made this change to make it now more fair in terms of uh, every nation at top tier with uh, the stock uh, tanks but some nations don't have heat fs as their stock shells such as britain and sweden so therefore it is not fair at all and it's just completely out the window it just means that that more nations just suffer with their stock grind uh, when it comes uh, to getting modifications research. It's just so gaijin that they're just so out of touch with their community that people wanted a stock APFS DS for, for every nation because it made it a little bit easier to get kills. But gaijin, just being typical gaijin, decided no, everybody must now suffer and everybody must now have a stock heat FS. And like I said, it really is hard to kill things with using a stock heat FS. And, and ultimately, it's just going to drive more people away from top tier. It's just going to be ultimately drive more people away from top tier and it's going to be the people which have already got the APFS DS uh, unlocked which are going to be ultimately there or they're going to be using their golden eagles to buy the way to the APFS DS I think because the stock heat FS grind and I've done it I've done it in the like stuff like the clerk and it's absolutely horrible using a stock heat FS at top tier 
Some of these changes go down as far as 8.7 where the stock shell has been changed to a uh, heat FS from an APFS DS shell, which isn't the worst change of that sort of button because heat FS is still viable at 8.7. It's the 10.0 to 10.7 bracket, which is definitely going to be suffering in terms of these changes uh, to the uh, stock heat FS. And I've seen it in the chat today while I've been uh, making the background footage for this. People going like, what the fuck is going on? Why is my APFS DS stock shell changed now heat FS? And then five minutes later, they're getting very frustrated and very vocal in the chat because they can't kill anything and rightly so because this is an absolutely awful change to the game it's just so gaijin that people wanted everybody to have a stock apfs deer shell um because uh, the stock heat fs just didn't cut it but gaijin being gaijin decided that everybody must now have a stock F fs shell and everybody must suffer ironically this is actually quite a big buff so like to Britain especially, which uh, doesn't fire the heat FS, and now they're going to have that APFS DS stock shell, which is going to be able to go through nicely through a lot of different tanks, and also Sweden, but Sweden never seems to get nerfed for some reason. I don't really know what's going on there. But anyway, just a quick video today just to outline these changes, which is going on my uh, thoughts and opinions on them, which I definitely do not agree with. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these changes. I can probably think what's going to be said, but there we go. But anyway, until the next one, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one sometime soon. Bye!